whenever you're trading the futures market you are presented with two options you have to choose from either trading cross margin or isolated margin now if you're just getting started knowing which one to use may just be a little bit complicated but in this class we're gonna go in depth with understanding either of these two trading modes now if you're just getting started this video is actually part four of our ultimate guide into trading the derivatives market now always make sure that you're watching from class number one to class number 20 in order for you to actually get all the information you need to become a pro trader in the futures market now let me share with you my screen and let's get started so go ahead and click on cross or isolated like i said in this class we want to go over what does it actually mean to trade on cross leverage and to trade with isolated leverage now this is very simple again here you can find a brief description of each but i think the best way to learn is to actually place a trade and actually explain over how everything works so to get started click on cross leverage you can here either click on isolated confirm and everything will be changed but for us to really understand here let's do cross first and then i'll confirm that if you recall in our previous class we actually calculated leverage now in order for us to really understand what is happening here we need to look at our balance if you recall we deposited 35 dollars so let's take a position in order for us to understand the difference between cross and isolated so again we are on cross leverage right now so let me bring in this calculator here because to really understand uh, cross leverage we need to understand the impact of liquidation price and from here we want to trade half of our balance so basically i'm going to put on a buy order at 0.4 and then i'll go 50 percent which means half of my balance will obviously be left and half of it will be used as margin for this trade that i'm actually opening now we can see the quantity here is 432 so for example here i'm on 10x leverage and the quantity here is 432 and then the enterprise is 0.4 maybe i'll say i'll sell at 0.5 now we can see that if all this goes well this prof this trade rather will be on profit however if we click on liquidation price we can see that if we change this to 10x we can see that at 0.36 that's where the price will be liquidated or that's where the trade will be actually liquidated so now let's go here and actually say 0.5 is our take profit and we go ahead and go long now you can see this is our enterprise over here now let me just zoom out and here we can see that at 0.36 is our liquidation price now let's look for that price within our chart here so basically i'm going to bring in my horizontal array over here and try to position this at 0.6 you can see we already have it here so i'm just going to click on that and maybe change colors to maybe red and that's where the price is actually going to be liquidated so basically the market is going to come and it's going to come to this line over here that's where our order is going to get triggered maybe the market moves like that and maybe comes down here so basically here within this line if i can just do that that's where we're actually getting liquidated so now because we're actually trading on cross leverage we're not necessarily going to get liquidated over here but once the price gets to this point we'll get something called a margin call which means that now our position is sort of like depleting what we need to do is to maybe add more funds within our account in order for us to keep this trade open if the price keep falling down we will then get liquidated but not only that once we get liquidated we'll actually lose everything within this account so that's what blowing up an account is because you're trading here on cross leverage which means you're using your initial margin and once that initial margin is being depleted then your positive balance on your trading account is used as a maintenance margin in other words 
this funds here the 17 dollars 0.52 cents will be used to maintain the open position should obviously this order here get triggered so that's the disadvantage of trading on cross leverage now if you were trading on isolated on the other hand that will mean that this trade that we're opening here for 17 dollars which is half because we click 50 percent here which means the 17 dollars that we have as a remaining balance within our account will not be affected should this trade be liquidated why because we selecting isolated which means this trade that we're opening here is only isolated to the funds to the margins that are associated with that trade but if we actually choose cross that means that everything within this account can be actually liquidated so it's very imperative to understand the tool so i always select isolated whenever i'm trading unless i'm actually trading with a very small leverage such as maybe 2x or 3x because in that case whenever you're about to get liquidated you can deposit more funds within your account to maintain the margin or to maintain your trade that you have because when you're trading with a very small leverage it's easier for you to actually deposit more funds within your account in order for you to maintain your ongoing trade again you can use other alternatives here such as scaling down or scaling up on the trade in order for you to avoid liquidation but we'll cover those in upcoming classes so that's what it means to actually trade on cross leverage or isolated leverage remember isolated leverage is literally just that it's isolated to that specific position so anything that is outside of that position will not be affected so now that we actually understand the difference between cross margin and isolated margin let's actually look at the disadvantages and advantages of these two modes the advantages of actually using cross leverage is that your trades can actually be open for a longer period of time and should those trades be actually go on some unrealized profits you can actually add collateral on your account to keep those trades open so that will be the advantage of actually using something called cross leverage now the disadvantage is that the entire available balance is automatically shared across all your positions which means that should you actually have you know the market going against you you most likely will get liquidated faster if you have more than one trade open because your entire available balance is actually shared across all your open positions which means you can actually blow your account very fast which is something we don't want to do when we're actually trading so when it comes to isolated margin the advantage is that you know your losses are only limited to the actual trades that you ha actually have opened which means that if you actually you know have your trade opened as explained earlier on if you encounter any losses on your trade those losses are only associated with the trade that you actually have opened when it comes to disadvantages on isolated leverage is that sometimes trades can actually be liquidated even if you are not necessarily 100 percent on a negative especially when the market is volatile you can get liquidated very very fast now if you are a trader you want to be you know staying away from liquidations because that's when you're actually losing money but that's the disadvantage of isolated leverage another disadvantage is that you won't necessarily be able to add funds or to add collateral when you actually have a trade going against you it's worth noting that you can actually you know scale up or scale down your trade and we're going to be discussing more on how to scale your trades so that you can avoid liquidation later within this course now if you enjoyed this class on isolated margin and cross margin make sure that you join us in our next class where we actually look at candlestick patterns all that you need to know about candlestick patterns we're going to be covering it in the next class and always make sure that you leave a like on this video for the youtube algorithm now make sure that you join me in the next class where we're talking about candlestick patterns go ahead and click on the video showing up on the screen right now i will see you there goodbye for now